Hey, JustGeorgeMedia.com with the Notebook Cookbook. It's just George and Nicole back in the kitchen tonight. What are we doing? What are we doing? We are doing a request by one of our watchers. It is going to be the most epic southern meatloaf. All right, you need three eggs total. One whole egg and two egg yolks. So for two of those, get rid of the whites. A full-on shallot, sliced and diced. We're going to be serving these up in personal pan size right there. These are some tins we purchased. And for the spices, you're going to need black and white pepper, salt, garlic, mustard powder, and Worcestershire sauce. Again, JustGeorgeMedia.com, Notebook Cookbook. Cook along with us. This is going to be yum, and it's going to be fun. All right, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your beef is nice and crumbled. Make a well. Eggs kind of in the middle, kind of sprinkled over top. Now, keep in mind, again, one full egg, two egg yolks. For two of them, you're getting rid of the whites. We are not pre-cooking our shallots this time. They're going right over our beef. They will cook with the beef. Seasoning time, black pepper. Salt, white pepper, garlic, mustard powder, and of course, finish with the Worcestershire couple of gluts. Get your hands dirty. It's time to mix up our beef. The beautiful thing about this is you cannot overwork your beef. However, you're looking for this particular consistency. The egg is kind of like the binding and we're doing a split into two loaves. Just like so. Our meatloaf is prepared in our single individual petite little dishes and preheated 400 degrees oven. We're looking at a 30 to 45 minute cook time. You've got to be very careful to watch this. We do not want to dry out our meatloaf. The beautiful thing here about JustGeorgeMedia.com, the notebook cookbook, Just George and Nicole, we never settle for less than amazing. We are always looking to elevate our listener requests tonight. With the Idaho russets, we are going to make a homemade mashed potato, a homemade brown gravy, and a side of vegetables to go with that southern homemade meatloaf. We had four russet potatoes peeled, diced, and cubed into boiling water with just a little bit of salt. The thing about looking for the vegetable side is always about what you have available at your market. Today, we've chosen broccolini. Why? Great heads, beautiful stems, not too fibrous, lots of flavor. That's what's available to us right now. That's what we've chosen. Just like any protein, just like any noodle, potatoes are exactly the same way. Strain it slightly al dente, a little bit rough in the center, and let them rest to that nice, creamy, molten center we're going to be beating here in just a minute with our mixer. Okay, this is our glaze for our meatloaf. It is ketchup, mustard, salt and pepper. Nice, simple, easy. Notebook cookbook for a little bit more explanation, for a little bit more in terms of increment. All right, these have been in the oven for about 30 minutes and it's time to glaze them with the glaze we just talked about. Notice how juicy they look. We certainly do not want a dry meatloaf. Be as liberal as you can as generous as you want. Right back in the oven for another few minutes. Saucepan to the side, four tablespoons of butter, broccolini in. It's going to both butter and steam our broccolini because we still want it nice and crisp when it comes out. Don't forget to season. Our juicy homemade meatloaf southern style glazed with the ketchup, mustard, salt and pepper is done. Ready to rest for just a minute as we finish up the last few components that we're going to be serving on the side. Now to thicken our brown gravy, we're going to be using a quarter cup of water and two teaspoons, a little bit more, 
basic small tasting spins of cornstarch. That's our slurry. And we're going to add little by little until we've thickened it into the point that we wish. All right, for our sides, obviously the homemade mashed potatoes, sour cream, cream cheese, butter, salt, pepper. Those are going to go in to cream those up during the whipping process. One cup of beef stock, the slurry that we just made, so it's a quarter cup of water, a couple of teaspoons of cornstarch. Add little by little to thicken very, very slowly. And then over there, four tablespoons of butter, our broccolini for both flavor and steam. Probably a little bit of seasoning that will go in quite at the end, like salt, pepper, and maybe a little bit of garlic. All right, with one cup of beef stock, a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of that cornstarch slurry to thicken it, and just a little bit of heavy whipping cream. It's really gonna bring that cream thickness, subtlety out. That's what you're looking for right there. It almost looks like coffee. That's the concept, that's the color you're looking for. Now, if you really wanna bring the cream out, not only the sour cream and the butter, salt and pepper, but just a little bit of half and half instead of milk. And then mix, start low, and go high. That's homemade meatloaf, homemade brown gravy, homemade mashed potatoes, broccolini, 4-2, done. Thanks for cooking along with us, guys. Just georgemedia.com, no book cookbook. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.